funny things I was thinking about. First thing, if you're in a relationship and y'all live together and y'all break up, he love you if he help you move out. Because a real nigga, a nigga that don't love you, that the motherfucker going to see you come in with your two brothers and he going to sit on the couch that y'all trying to take and play video games. Like this bitch think I'm finna move because she moving out. I ain't even finna acknowledge that she here. I ain't finna say shit. I'm finna play my motherfucking Mortal Kombat. Let that bitch drown. You could show up with you and your little sister. Your little sister 12. No man here with a moving truck thinking, oh, he's a nice guy. He'll help me move out. No. He'll, he'll play sleep. Say hi to your sister. Don't even say nothing to you. So if he help you move out, he love you. So you should just go back, you know, like they say. If you let something go and they come back, they love you. But anyways, second funny thing I was thinking about. Who came up with the idea for Viagra? Like, what old person was thinking, yeah, I know I've been having sex with the same dude for 35 years. But I love his old wrinkly balls. I wish he could get hard again. I mean, you don't really hear too much about women being satisfied anyways with men. And let's just be real. All of the commercials be white dudes. How many of these women is really satisfied with white penis? Somebody somewhere was like, oh, man, I know that we've been married for years, but I really wish you could get that five inches back up for me. Like, wait a minute. What? What old woman? First off, I want to know who the old hoes are. Like, who's in the retirement home? Like, well, you know, I was married for 45 years. And he died, so I figured the next, you know, three, four, seven years, I'm going to just be a hoe. I'm just going to fuck an old man. Get over here with that wrinkly dick. <laughs> this is crazy. Who thought of this? Like, I can understand for, for those dudes that, you know, can't get it up at a young age because of some physical issue or some psychological issue that's keeping you from being able to get hard okay but that's not what they be selling it to you know you you sell to who you expect to buy it these be 50 60 year old white men on these tv shows with plugs in their hair or a full head of white hair and a polo like you know this dude is the dude who been taking care of his stuff the whole time this is the upper middle class man living in a nice neighborhood with a BMW. And all of a sudden one day he realized, oh, I can't get it up. I even be thinking like people be complaining about how when you marry, you don't have sex as much. So I'm kind of wondering, like, if you only have sex, who the hell is buying this stuff? Like, do you, do y'all just be planning out, oh, well, let me buy some Viagra. Our anniversary's coming up in a couple of weeks. Gotta be prepared for that one time a year. I'm gonna get some. I don't know. I just think of funny things like that.